Welcome to the second episode of Where to Stop, so you don't waste your time watching garbage TV. This episode, we feature something I thought I would never feature. Lethal Weapon. I was a huge fan of the uh, movies growing up. I watched all four at least twice a year religiously. And I've done that since probably 1995, when I was five years old. I own multiple copies of the films on both DVD and Blu-ray, both the director's cut and the regular ones, and watch them. So technically, I watch the four films at least eight times a year, both the, both the director's and the original cut, and the first one is a Christmas staple for me. So I went into the series thinking, oh, I'm going to hate it, I'm not going to like it, anything is good, and I was wrong. I loved it. I loved everything about it. And then it happened. The uh, Damon Wayne decided to be a diva because he got hurt. A little scrape. I've gotten worse personally, and he decided to be, oh, in no other words, a complete bitch. And he uh, made demands, and Warner Brothers decided to keep him instead of the actor that played Riggs. So they got rid of the lethal weapon out of lethal weapon. This all happened at the end of the second season. But this is going to be a different kind of where to stop. Unlike the other ones where I tell you what kind of episodes to watch or... Like, don't watch season one episodes this, 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 season two this, 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 have a complete story. Season one and two are good enough to be watched in the complete. But season three, where you'll be stopping... Episode 1, at the end of episode 1, or in the middle of episode 1, you will be stopping to do a complete, to get a complete story out of this show, so you don't have to watch anymore, which I would bet was not be getting an ending itself, it'll probably end it on a cliffhanger this season, thinking they're going to get a second, thinking they're going to get a fourth, the ratings will be so poor, Fox will say, pull it. So, let's go with the story of the last episode of Lethal Weapon, season 3, episode 1. They show you the opening is they show you again the Riggs's brother shooting him and how uh, Martin found how Murtaugh found him took him to the doctors oh, we'll, 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 we'll do all we can he dies obviously he goes home he's depressed he's trying he thinks there's more to the story you have to fast forward through a lot of garbage of the episode because every, anytime Stifler is on TV fast forward his, you're not going to care about his story for the most part he won't come in until like the next, he won't he doesn't come into the bottom because I'm actually personally making an edited copy of this episode and I'm posting it online and I'll put a link in the bottom of the description probably like a couple months or so because I'm downloading stuff at the moment I'm doing other things but back to the story Murtaugh is depressed he gets help from the psychiatrist comes and visits him he thinks there's no way in hell. It can't just be the kid shot Riggs because the kid's an asshole. It has to be something more. He goes looking for it. He runs into Stifler. Yep, Stifler drops a, almost drops a car on him, well, near him. And uh, you'll notice that Murtaugh never takes his gun out. It's because the actor now refuses to carry one. So what could the cop show without a gun? Kind of pathetic. It ain't Mayberry. But... He gets uh, chased by the cops, and Stifler joins in, and the cap and the acting captain says, "Hey, you should think about retiring." He goes off and looks. He meets Stifler at a hotel. You got to fast forward through a uh, Stifler family drama because you're not gonna care about this stuff because hey, the season's gonna be over, or you can just watch my cut. And he goes and talks to him about what who Stifler was chasing. He goes and sees. He goes to Riggs's car. He looks at it. He gets some flashbacks, and then he starts burning all the uh, stuff that he was looking into because he sees a video of the kid admitting what he did. And yep, yeah, okay, Riggs is killed. He was killed by an idiot, and that's it. And he's gonna listen to the captain and retire. He starts burning all the files. Stifler comes in. Hey, I really need your help. You're a great cop. Not anymore. Stifler, Stifler leaves, his wife comes out, he throws his badge in the fire, and when it fades to black, this is when you stop. This is when you stop, and where to stop. Halfway through, or not, not even halfway through, like ten minutes in, 
the season three, episode one. It ends the story off. Murtaugh retires. The city has a copycat of Riggs running around, Stifler. And, you know, he's going to do Stifler things, like uh, st- stick his dick in a pie. And the series is over. Hope you enjoyed this co- this edition of Where to Stop. I'll planning on doing uh, Pokemon next. And uh, that will actually lead into a very funny version of... Uh, an idea for that if you want to stick around. But the episode is over. This is just extra about the next episode. While thinking of where to stop for Pokemon, I also decided I'm going to try to do a... Uh, like an abridged version, but it ain't going to be like a uh, normal one where it shows the video and the songs and all kind of stuff. It's going to be like this. It's going to be the images, the screen caps of the episodes, and then the, you know, obviously the voices, like uh, a free preview of it is Ash gets Professor Oak's lab. Oh, gee, Professor Oak, I want this one. Sorry, Ash, you're not, you're not red. What? Your mom didn't buy you red version. What are you talking about? You got yellow version. You can only have Pikachu. I don't want Pikachu. Well, tough. And that's how it is. So, hope you enjoyed this episode and the sneak little preview. It's going to be a lot better because that's just off the top of my head. I have this, I have this first episode script right now at home. It's just kind of what I remember. And the voice is going to be a little better. But hope you enjoyed that first episode and the, sneak, and the second episode and the sneak little preview. And uh, as always, have a good one.